So you have just seen the example that we are going to create and that is to create the bad TV signal in Kden Life. So let's get started. Here in Kden Life, I got two video clips here. So let's uh, first of all uh, add a little bit of contrast as you can see here to the video clip. So to do that, selecting the first clip, go to the effects panel and go to the color and image correction. Select the Bezier caps and apply it to your clip. Coming to the effects panel here, you can see this little red cycle here, click that and drag it to your right side so you can see it's apply the contrast to the clip. So that's all we need to do for this clip. Let's go to the second clip, selecting that and let's do the same thing, selecting the basic caps and apply to the clip and then come to the handle here of this effect here on the lines and drag it to move somewhere here. As you can see when we do that, it's applied with a black. Uh, shading here so we need to clear it out by going down and use these other curves here don't get confused with basic caps and the curve click in the center here and drag it up so when we drag up we apply the light so let's uh, bring this back up a little bit here to bring this little bit light up in the base here let's uh, supply a little bit of more contrast to this and that's all we need for this now let's apply the um, bad tv signal so selecting the first clip place the marker somewhere here, go up to the effects panel and in the deprecated, click that and select the RGB noise. Click and drag it onto your clip. As you can see when we do that, you can see that it's applied to the whole clip. We don't want that. So here in the um, first keyframe here, you can see the value is at 20. Simply click that and drag it down to zero. Now coming back to the effects panel and add the first keyframe. Then go to the end of the clip and add the second keyframe and type here 100 or you can simply click and drag it up to 100 to apply the noise effect to the video clip. Now going back to the uh, where the second uh, marker or the keyframe is, which is this one here. You can also click here to select that. Go back again to the effects panel and under the motion, so selecting the glitz, apply that to your clip. And now we don't need to do anything to the beginning of the, I mean, where the marker is. So let's just add a keyframe without changing any values here. Let's move to the end. And now let's add another keyframe and change the glitz frequency to 200, changing the block height to zero to have these uh, horizontal lines here and then the shift intensity to 1000 and in the color glitching intensity change this to 500 okay so that's all we need to do and uh, once you finish with this you can add a little bit of sound effect here the sound effect that i'm using is from tune tank and i put the link in the description below so you can check that out okay so that's all for this video and thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do that then um, thank you to those who have subscribed to our channel thank you very much and see you all back again in another video